Hello, everyone. Happy Christmas Eve if you celebrate, or if not, happy December 24th. I am so excited to be here on the last day of Vlogmas and um, to open this last book, see what's going on, and just to kind of wrap up this project. Um, I have got the baby right here. It is early morning, and she's awake, and um, nobody's eating breakfast or anything, so this might get a little cranky, but um, I am here to open this last book. So if you've not seen one of my Vlogmas videos, what I did is at the beginning of the year, I asked my sister to wrap up 24 books for me books that made her think of me, books that she read and loved, books that she wanted me to guinea pig, whatever it may be. Um, she could pick 24 books and I wanted them to be ones that like she thought I would like, but also ones that, that may push me. Hold on one second. So anyway, this is the 24th book. I have no idea what's in here. Um, and we'll just, we'll just open it up together and see, and I will read it in this video. Um, this is kind of a blast from the past because it's December 8th. Sorry. Yeah, stop and start. Stop and start. But anyway, it's December 8th. And thankfully, my husband has a lot of time off that he has not used. And it's use it or lose it. So he is able to take some time off here in December. So he today is going to be taking my big two to tennis. And then I'm going to be staying with the baby. She's got uh, PT today. So we're going to be doing that. And um, last night we did a Christmas light tour. It was a party bus um, for kids and everything around the neighborhood or not around the neighborhood, but like with Christmas lights. But our party bus got stuck behind an accident on the way here. So it was like, you guys know, if you have little kids, doing things at night is hard and stressful regardless. And we chose, our, our tour was supposed to be 6 to 6.30. And so we chose to like just give them big snacks before not feed them dinner because we thought we'd be home by like 6.45. Well, they got stuck behind an accident. And so it was like 7.30 before we got home. Ate a quick dinner, got everybody to sleep. Luckily, two of my kids cashed out because we have really good friends. So they were just running all over. And it was like a weird 60 degree evening. So it was beautiful. It was awesome. Um, definitely like kind of going hard on all the festive things right now. It's so fun. Um, but my reading time, like I'm not in the mood to physically read at all. So I'm really going to hope I can get a digital copy of this because, um, we homeschool. I don't, I don't know if you guys have watched those videos, but I homeschool, um, my five-year-old who's almost six and, um, then my three-year-old really likes it too. And so I've been trying to do all the Christmas school. We've, we've set aside our normal curriculum and we're just doing Christmas school, um, which is great, but it means lots of prep for me. So I feel like any free time I have is either Christmas prep, um, like school wise or actual Christmas prep. Um, we also made gifts for like all of our friends and neighborhood. I mean, we've just been doing all the things. So physical reading has taken a back seat by far. So let's just see what is in here and yeah, what we got. So this vlogmas series is my favorite because I edit pretty much like day by day. I try to get ahead, but I kind of edit day by day. And so it's really fun to see what we were doing throughout the year and um, just kind of remember where we were at the beginning of the year versus the end. You guys, like with little kids, so much changes in a year and it's just so fun. So thank you guys for being here with me and letting me like vlog about my life and the little things. And um, yeah, so let's see what this is. Okay. Oh my goodness. I think it's Before I Do by Sophie Cousins. Is that right? Yes, I have really, I've loved Sophie Cousins and I really am looking forward to this. So, uh, Head in the Stars, Audrey is about to marry down to earth Josh. Though they are polar opposites, they have a healthy, stable relationship. Josh, Josh is just what Audrey needs. Uh, side note, my friend just had a baby and named her Audrey, so that's funny. Um, but romance should be unpredictable and full of fireworks. And as the big day approaches, Audrey's found herself wondering if Josh really is the one. So when Josh's sister shows up to the rehearsal dinner with Fred, Audrey's what-if guy, the man she met six years ago and had one amazing day with, Audrey finds herself torn. Surely Fred's appearance the night before she's due to get married can't be a coincidence. And when everything that could go wrong in the wedding starts to go wrong, Audrey has to ask herself, is fate trying to stop her from making a huge mistake? Or does destiny just have a really <laughs> twisty sense of humor so I am really excited about this again it kind of explores the road not traveled and um I love that trope and this cover is great I am really looking forward to this so hopefully it's a great one I will keep you posted and let you know today I don't know how much reading I'm going to do I'm in the middle of like the books for my book haul revisit because December was a big month um so I'm reading some of those and then, yeah, we've got physical therapy today. And then um, I'm going to be taking a friend some Starbucks because she needs it. And so I'm going to take her some Starbucks and then um, come home, make lunch, all that. But, like, we have nothing going on this evening. It's supposed to be a rainy evening. So if I can get a good chunk of things done today, maybe we will do uh, 
Well, we'll, we'll do a little reading tonight. So we'll see. So I will keep you posted. Hey, everyone. It looks like it's late at night. It's not. It's like 4.45 in the afternoon. And I just took a nap with my kids. And it was glorious. But I thought I would get on and let you know that um, while they were sleeping and I woke up, I was reading some of this book. And uh, I am liking it. I'm actually listening to it mostly on audio um, because I'm just not in the mood to read. You guys, it's December 16th. I got to hurry up and get this done because it's almost the 24th when I need to post this. And um, it's just I'm not in the mood to read at all. Um, so the moral, like what's going on in this is it's about this woman. She's about to get married. Um, the first scene, like I think it's like somebody, an ambulance or somebody coming up to her wedding. We don't really know what's going on. And then we get um, like a day before I do, we get six years before I do, all that kind of stuff. Because six, seven, some odd years ago, um, she met a guy, sort of, in a photo booth. He left like a, a photo strip that said like, I will find you. And so she left a response that said like, you found me. And the two um, kind of started a friendship. Like they kept, their, cro their paths kept crossing. And so, um, we get, it jumps around a lot. We get timelines like in that relationship as it's kind of developing. And then as she meets her fiance, um, as well as like currently what's going on at the wedding and we like, but it also then will jump back like 17 years before I do. And it's about her life with her dad. And, um, there's just a lot. It's really kind of jumping around. The whole book takes place over like one day, I think. Um, and it's fine. I just find myself kind of like detached a little bit, zoning out a little bit, but that could be the slump that I am in. So I'm enjoying it. I'm not loving it. Um, but yeah, I'm just really like, I don't know if it's the season because we are so darn busy. Like we just have so much going on this morning. We took the kids. Well, they went to the library um, because they are picking up their, their Christmas gift to me is each of the big girls picked out three books for me. No, I gave them no guidelines and uh, my husband was with them. And so they picked out three books for me that they're going to wrap up and that's going to be my Christmas gift. And uh, so they dropped me off a dollar, the Dollar Tree so I could get um, some stocking stuffers and we, uh, the girls made a bunch of cards for, um, kids who are at Children's Mercy Hospital and who will be spending Christmas there. Um, so they made a bunch of cards. So then we bought stuffed animals and stickers and stuff like that to put with the cards. And so, um, yeah, they dropped me off at Dollar Tree so I could do that. They went to the library. Then they picked me up and we all went to Menards together. You guys, if you are not going to Menards, you are missing out. Like they had... I bought the kids two board games uh, for Christmas that they had one for $5 and I bought it for $15 and one for $3 that I bought for $15 and they're having 12% off. This is totally not sponsored by Menards, but I wish it was because they had so much stuff. And so um, my husband and I each took a kid and they would, they each pick something for each other. So did that and then um, came home. And so there's just, it, it's constant busyness. Tomorrow's church and Chiefs game and my daughter has a gymnastics meet. So, um, constant busyness. So I don't know if that's like why I'm not loving it and I'm kind of distracted throughout it or if it's the actual book, but I am close to done. So I will check in when I finally finish and let you know my final thoughts. So I have finally finished this book and I am so great, grateful. Um, the audio is on hold for like ever and ever and ever, but somehow one of my library cards finally got it because where I live here in the Kansas City area, there is the Mid-Continent Mid-Continent Library or something. So I don't know, other Midwest friends, can you get access to that? Because I didn't realize that like that wasn't the same thing as what I already had on my library card. And so I did it and um, it's awesome. But anyway, so it had the audiobook available somehow. And so I did, I listened to the rest on audio and um, I really liked this book. Okay, so where I'm at is I'm super slumpy. I think I told you guys that before. I'm super slumpy. And so I was like not picking up this book because I didn't want to like not like it just because I'm so kind of disengaged with reading. And that didn't like it, it, that that happened at times. I, this is definitely well, or at least this is not a season or a slump time right now where I can like stop and start books a thousand times. I need like a chunk of time to read it. And I finally got that chunk of time and I um, enjoyed it more. So I don't know. This book overall is kind of meh for me, but is that because of me or is it because of the book? I don't know. Let me tell you about the book. So the book is, um, I can't, I can't even remember what I just said about it yesterday or two days ago or whenever I updated, but it's about two people, uh, Audrey and, um, 
what's his name? Audrey and Josh, I think. Yeah, Audrey and Josh. And uh, she's real flighty, real head in the clouds, real like pick a point, say we're going to go there, figure out the details later kind of thing. He is Mr. Planner, all that kind of stuff. So they are, they balance each other really well. They're getting married and they go and um, it's just like, kind of like those movies like Meet the Fockers or something like that where everything that can go wrong does go wrong. And so she's like, oh my gosh, is this a sign? And then in walks in this guy who uh, she met at a photo booth six years ago. He is uh, the date to the groom's sister, and she's like, oh my gosh. And so with all the things going wrong and this guy coming in, she is just kind of in a tailspin. And so we get the day of the wedding, well, we get the day before the wedding, the day of the wedding, and then very briefly thereafter. So the majority of this book takes place in a couple days and um, with frequent flashbacks. So I think I said before, but you get flashbacks from like a little bit ago, a little bit further, like when she met this other guy, when she met this guy, when she was with her dad like and it doesn't go sequentially so it really jumps around a lot and so I think that kind of hindered some engagement just it was very jumpy and it almost felt like kind of staccato um it, you know it didn't blend as well as I wanted it to but again maybe that's because my brain is a little jumpy right now um I don't know, you know, so it's hard for me to separate if I would have read this at a different time. But I will say, like, there's kind of an, uh, a grand gesture at the end. I love me a solid grand gesture. Um, and it's her groveling, not him. And I really enjoyed that. Um, she really has some good, like, enlightening uh, awarenesses of things, you know, of what she actually wants. There's a lot of growth in her. I think that part was good. There were, t like, that kind of humor of the, like, everything that can go wrong will go wrong um, kind of comedy of errors is not my favorite. But there are a couple times I was, like, smiling in this. And so, overall, I thought it was, it was a cute read. Um uh, and one of my kids, I don't know if you guys can see, but they set their cup on it. And so there's like a water ring, but that's okay. Um, anyway, I, I'm going to keep this on my shelf. I would be really interested to read this again, um, just at a diff in a different brain space. But shortish chapters, um, if you like Sophie Cousins before, I think you might like this one again. Go in knowing it's going to be just kind of a slapstick, silly, uh, silly story about a wedding and a couple. And um, yeah, I will say the male characters are not super strong in this book. Like not that they're not alpha, but they're also just like not that strong. Um, so overall, I'm going to give it three and a half stars. It's a good way, fun way to end it off. So you guys, it's Christmas Eve as you watch this. I need to go do my hair um, because we're about to go to church. And it's not Christmas Eve here. It's Sunday, December 17th. So one week ago. Um, how's that for a blast from the past? I kind of dropped the ball on getting this done early. But that's okay. I'm really glad to have finished this project. And I will do a whole wrap-up video with my thoughts and kind of the stats. And maybe, have a, maybe I can even get my sister to join. What we're going to see. Um... So I'm not going to say a whole lot in general about my thoughts now on the project as a whole, um, but I loved it and I like I know there's a lot of ups and downs, but I think it's great. And so thank you so much for coming along. A lot of you guys have been commenting every day and it just fills my heart with joy and it's so much fun. In fact, I was talking to my husband and a couple of friends like, is there a way I can do videos every day another month or two throughout the month because or throughout the year because it's just so fun to have that daily interaction and to like open my studio app and see what you guys are saying what you guys are thinking about the book or the video whatever it may be um and so I I really love this I will tell you guys sneak peek this is coming back next year but differently um, with somebody different, a little bit different form, format, just a little bit of a spin on things. So I will uh, wrap this all up later, but so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for, wa for watching these days. Let me know if you've read this um, or what you think fit, and we'll see you in the next one.